Dando las palabras no. más grandes. Grande va. Ay, grande tú. Grande tú tú. Dando va. Y dos de ti, dando va. Dando va, dando va. Dando va, How are you, Maharaj? Muy bien. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> okay. Bandana. Bueno. One day, hum, Shri Guru, Juta, Sadhana <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Shri <laughs> Bhagavan <laughs> 
जय श्री प्रभुपाद श्री गुरु महाराज श्री गुरुदेव श्री छय देव श्री सत महाराज की जाए गोपदान की जाए जाए भक्ति महाराज की जय So text uh, 56. स्वास्त्रह आरिभक्त जनप्रिया commentary the original supreme lord of divine pastimes the son of the king of raja 
is by nature submissive to his surrendered souls by his own sweet will in the manifestation of the Lord's eternal fundamental identity it is revealed that because love is everything to him law is naturally dependent upon and thus sub subordinate to love and a Brahmin is subordinate to the devotee of the Lord And the verse from the Bhagavatam says, Oh, my dear Brahman, Brahmana, I am subordinate to my devotee, and therefore I am like one who has no independence. The Sadhu devotees have captured my heart, and not to speak of my devotees, those who are devoted to my devotees are also dear to me. It's a reciprocal, reciprocal relationship to the Lord and his devotees. We say Lord, or God, who means that he is who is the master, who is not subordinate to anyone. And we consider ourselves subordinate to uh, the subjects, devotees. Like Krishna is explaining here, that he is the one who is subordinate, and his devotees are the masters of himself. So how is that? Who's who's dependent on who? <laughs> So when you come, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord Maharaj, the Lord. <laughs> at the plane of love, everything becomes comp complicated. It doesn't become reasonable, rational anymore. Who is supposed to be the master and who is supposed to be the servant? Nobody can tell. It's just this loving reciprocation. And who is master, who is servant doesn't mean anything. Devotee is out of love. And the Lord, out of love, have a relationship of attachment, of, a, of a, uh, attraction. And it's, it's important that here Krishna is speaking to a Brahmana. So he's telling him that, look, Brahmanas are very important, very nice. He said, but more important than Brahmana is my devotee. Vaishnava is above a Brahman. Huh? Even Krishna says, I am dedicated, surrendered to my devotee. So if you want to understand relation to me, try to understand relation to my devotee. And then you will have some clear conception of what's going on, what I mean by devotion, what the Brahmin's duties are. That's one thing. But if they don't understand from carrying out those duties, what the real purport, what the real purpose of life is, then they missed. They missed the most important thing. And not just being a Brahmin, not just having observing all those duties, regulations, and rules, but actually realizing what is more important than that. Krishna says, Sarva Dharmam, but it judge. I give up all these rabbinical Kshatriya, why should duties, yeah. all these duties that you are, that you are, or Nashram teachers, that's not the main thing. The main thing is to become my devotee. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. huh? 
tell my devotee, that is the highest thing. And even there, I am subjugated. So it's very nice. Hum bhakta paradhino. Guru and Vaishnava. The mercy incarnation of the Lord. The Lord incarnates. The mercy of the Lord is it incarnates as Guru and Vaishnava. The appearance of Guru and Vaishnava in our life is a manifestation of the mercy of the Lord. The incarnation of the mercy of the Lord. To have that opportunity in life, come in touch with a genuine Guru, a genuine Vaishnava, is already to have achieved the blessings of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord. That's how he sends his mercy to us. And then we must learn how to serve properly, properly understand and properly serve such being, such mercy incarnations. Uh, we to show our recognition, proper recognition and reciprocation with such divine uh, beings, transcendental persons. That is what scriptures are telling us. Text 57. Sri Krishna Prapanane Shu Prapanane Shu Jakta Kila Sojana so Dharma Shu Tat Padik Pataika Rateshu Tad Viraha Katareshu Sri Atareshu Sri Bhagavata Nija Dama Prema Padikara Vigraha Lila Lila Rasa Pradadena Param Atmi Yavat Pari Palana Prati Shukti Rupa Parama Sasa Vani In the verse of the Bhagavatam Dham Aha Bhagavan Prastam Prapanarti Parohari Ye Chakra Loka Dharma Shu Dharma Shu Mad Arte Tad Viparm Yaham Shridamar comments Were the devotees who have surrendered to the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, who have given up their families, prescribed duties for him, and who within their deep absorption in his service feel brokenhearted by his separation. The Lord's message of supreme reassurance is his pledge as the most intimate family member to maintain the life of his devotee by giving his own name, affection, associates, body, and the ambrosia of his pastimes. Bhagavatam verse says, the Supreme Lord Sri Hari, the vanquisher of the anguish of his surrendered souls, told his dear most surrendered soul, Uddhava, the messenger, I personally maintain who have, those who have given up their prescribed duties and social obligations for me.
I remember Sridhar Maharaj used to tell that Srila Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada, had emptied himself so much, he emptied himself so much, that Krishna had to come and act through him. It was impossible for Prabhupada, an old man on his own, to do what he did, go throughout the world and create a revolution of Krishna consciousness in all the world. Not possible for an old man to do that, any human being. <clears throat> he explained that it's because he emptied himself of all his, of himself, basically that Krishna had to come and act through him. Interesting idea. Now there's complete negativity here. Negation, abneg abnegation, oneself. Giving up all one's endeavors, ambitions, etc. Pride, whatever it may be, attachments. Giving all that up, giving identification of this or that or the other thing in this world. Only when that is all given up, then Krishna can come. Oh. It's like having a glass, a glass full of water. Until you can empty that glass of water, you can't get the mango juice in your glass. If you want to get your glass full of mango juice, you have to dump out the water. Right? If you leave a little water and then you pour some mango juice, then it's still not pure. It's okay, it's nice, but the other thing is if you empty the glass, then the mango juice can come. It's something like that. When we empty ourselves of ourselves, material designations, okay. then the mango juice of Krishna can come and take place, take and occupy that space. So uh, it says here, Krishna comes as an intimate family member to maintain the life of his devotee by giving his name, affection, associates, his own body, and the ambrosia of his pastimes. This is how Krishna fulfills that devotee who has given up everything. For the sake of the Lord. He comes in all these ways. Mysterious process. Huh? He won't come in any other way. We can practice yoga. You can study philosophy. Uh, you can do do penances, make sacrifices, stand on your head, whatever you want to do. But that won't bring Krishna, that won't bring all these things to you. Only by surrender, surrendering everything, giving up everything, and submit, submitting completely. Surrender, huh? submitting completely to the will of Guru Dev, of the service of Vaishnava Guru, and let their will be our will, that thy will be done. Huh? Not my will, thy will. Trusting that Krishna will do everything. After all, he's God, why not? He can do, why he can't do everything?
That kind of faith is necessary. And Krishna will make the arrangements uh, to appear in your life as your own family member. With the name, his love, his associates, his body, and the nectar of his pastimes, sweet loving pastimes. Iti Shri Prapada Jiva Namrite, Shri Bhagavad Vachanamrita, Nam Navamo Vyaha. Thus ends the ninth chapter, words of nectar from the Supreme Lord, and the life nectar of the surrendered souls. Positive, progressive immortality. Avesha Samrita, chapter 10. The divine remnants of nectar. Sankirtya Tvano Bhagavan Naranta. Sutan Bhavo Vyasanam Hipomusham Pravishu Chitam Vidunoti Shesham Itatamor Ko Brahm Ivati Yuta Avata. Let's see. When the singing of the glorious qualities of the Supreme Lord Hari's personality is heard. He enters into the hearts of men to banish all their miseries as the sun dispels the darkness and strong winds disperse the clouds. From the 12th canto of the Bhagavatam. Sankirtyamano. Sankirtan, huh? singing the glories of the Lord. Dhanavat Suva Devi. Hare Krishna, Dhanavat Pranam Maharaj. Shiva. Sankirtyamano Bhagavan. Sankirtana. Means chanting the glories of the Lord or speaking about the glories of the Lord in the in the company of the devotees. This kind of this this uh, this chanting when heard uh, is the way the Lord enters the hearts of all men. To banish all their miseries. Shravanam Kirtanam. Kirtanam Shravanam. By chanting, uh, by hearing, and then by chanting, Shravanam Kirtanam, and then Smaranam comes. Remembrance, Krishna consciousness arises within the heart. And once Krishna consciousness arises, then all ignorance and misery, darkness, whatever, that is dispelled. What is that Prabhupada used to say? Back to God, Hedda. Darkness, what is it? Oh, on that. Uh, yes, uh, and, yeah, Krishna is light and Maya darkness. So when the light comes, the darkness is dispelled. So Krishna consciousness comes, 
than all the darkness of ignorance of non-Krishna. Ignorance means not Krishna. Huh? When Krishna arises on the horizon, then the whole darkness of the world means the non-Krishna consciousness. That all disappears, right? You know, you ever get up early in the morning when the sun is rising? Just before the sun comes up, it's all dark. The whole world is dark. And then as the sun gradually comes up, the world that was there all the time, you couldn't see in the dark, and it suddenly all appears. You can see everything. Uh, that's Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness means when we become conscious of Krishna, when we become aware, remembrance of him, and who he is, the personality of God, and then everything else, all our ignorance about that is, that uh, comes to us in a form of not knowing anything about Krishna, only knowing worldly things, that all disappears. The worldly things and all their suffering and misery. And we become joyful. Ignorance means unhappiness, darkness, depression. It's all due to ignorance. It's all the result of ignorance and joy. Yeah. And uh, you want to say liveliness. That is from Krishna consciousness. When we become Krishna conscious, we become joyful, uh, right? and enlivened, enthused. And we want to serve, do what we can, maintain that joyful taste. The next verse, Misha Giras Atta Yastir Asat Kata Nakatyate Yad Bhagavan Adhok Sutra Tad Eva Satyam Tad Ohaiva Mangalam Tad Eva Punyam Bhagavad Akunodayam Again from the chat. 12th chapter of the Bhagavatam. Well, chapter 12 verse. Those words in which the glory of the transcendental Lord Sri Hari are not sung. Such imaginary deceptive utterances are to be known as falsehood. And those words in which the divine qualities of the Lord appear such expressions are to be known as truth, the bestower of all success and the source of all virtue. So all words, uh, whatever we say, if it's about Krishna, then it's, it's that is the true thing. The words that we speak of is not about Krishna. That's all not Maya, untruth. It has to do with untruth. It means we're missing the point. Roti okay. knows that Krishna is the truth and non Krishna is Maya. Maya. Shri told this word is two words actually, ma and ya. Ma means na or not, and ya means that. That means truth. So maya means not the truth. 
truth is Ya or is Krishna, that's the truth. And Maya means not Krishna or not the truth. <clears throat> so all thoughts, all intentions that are are connected with Krishna, with Krishna consciousness, or thoughts and our words are connected with Krishna consciousness, then we are situated in truth. <clears throat> But if our thoughts and words are all connected with not Krishna, are not connected with Krishna, then we are engaged in Mayak existence. Mayak uh, blabbering, you could say. Okay, all nonsense. Gossiping, things like that, huh? And nothing to do with Krishna. One who engages in that kind of talk, they are in my heart. The devotee only wants to talk about Krishna, and in that way, he's always connecting with truth. Always connected with the truth. Why should we want anything else? Devotee doesn't want to talk about other things than Krishna, and he doesn't want to hear other people talking about so many other things except Krishna. Not attracted to anything that's not connected with the Supreme Lord. Great. The reservoir of all pleasure. Rasovai Saha. Very simple. All right. Let's see, number three. Tad Eva Ram Tad Eva Ram Yam Ruja Ram Navam Navam. That Eva Shashwan Manaso Mahotsavam. That Eva so uh, Karnava Shoshanam Nirnam Vinam Yet Uttama Shloka Niso Nikiate. And then we're on the 12th chapter of the, uh, the 12th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. The words in which the renown of Uttama Shloka, Sri Hari, he, uh, the singing of whose glories destroys the ignorance of the world, are broadcast at every second. Such expressions alone constantly bestow newer and newer nectar. They inaugurate the heart's grand festival and they dissolve the ocean of lamentation. Uttama Shlok. Uttama means the highest, huh? Higher Shlokas. Supreme. Those words were broadcast the supreme words, the supreme uh, supreme descriptions of the Lord. Huh? Supreme descriptions of the Supreme Lord. If they are broadcast, huh? 
then they will bestow on the world newer and newer nectar, ever fresh nectar. Not like it bestows nectar and then the next minute you have nothing. <laughs> but it's ever fresh nectar, ne more and more nectar. Ever, ever increasing nectar. See, in mon mundane pleasures, if you keep having mundane pleasures again and again, you get sick of it. <laughs> huh? Like if you like ice cream <laughs> and you keep eating ice cream, then you'll get sick. No? You eat ice cream all the time. You don't want it anymore. Or whatever your favorite food is, if you just keep eating that all the time, then you don't want it anymore. But this nectar, the nectar of Krishna consciousness, that is relishable. And in each moment, it's increasing. Each moment we taste it, we want more. And we don't get tired of tasting that. Rather, we become more enthused each moment, ever fresh. Primo! Primo! Nice verse! Nice verse! Spectacular! Yes, spectacular! Text number four. Atan Vachas Chitra, Adam Harer Yoso, Chakat Pavitram Pragmita, Pragmita Kahichit, the Angsha Tirtam Na to Angsha Sevitam, Yatrat Shutas Tatra, he Shodava Saha, Shodava Mala. In Sarvo Mala, sorry. From Bhagavatam, 12th Canto, 12th chapter. These are those utterances that despite their charming ornamental uh, presentation, never describe the renown of Sri Hari, which alone purifies the universe. Such words attract only crow-like superficial method, but they are never attended by the learning. This is because the immaculate hearted sadhus adore the melodious words that sing the glories of the Supreme Lord. Maharaj. Sri Maharaj must think that these verses speak for themselves because he's not giving any kind of description of them. Hmm. All of them. He hasn't mm -hmm. given any. Certainly. He's giving his purport in the translation. These are perfectly express their the meaning. Uh, and I'm just thinking, these are all from twelfth canto. And no proper translation has been given of the twelfth canto in the English language. Prabhupada could not give. Oh. So Sridhar Maharaj is giving. Hmm. I think we'll stop at this first. I just wanted to mention that um, next week is Janmasami, huh? Janmasami and Prabhupada's appearance. Do you know what day is Janmasami, Ariananda? Mm. 
Yes, ma, Mahara, the young master, me, no? 20, uh, 20, 27, no? Day. That's right. Uh, August. Yeah. I think, yes, sir. I think somehow Shantamaraj's calendar got it wrong. It should be on the 27th, which is a Tuesday. Which is a Tuesday, huh? Ah, uh, to to say, uh, 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 this, Maharaj, this day Zoom meeting or no? Is this? He's asking if there is a Zoom meeting. Will there be a Zoom meeting? Ah, uh, we haven't planned it yet. Uh, we have not planned that. No. Okay. No, I don't know what Santa Maharaj wants to do. You can check with him. He may like to do that. Okay. Okay, Mara. But then Tuesday and then Wednesday is the Nandotso and the appearance of Srila Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada on Wednesday. So some big days for the Vaishnavas next week. And when it's celebrated in some way, they all try to celebrate in some way. Oma Devi, what will you do on Jadmasi? I'm going to Temple Maras. I'm going to the Temple. Okay. Vishwambar, what will you do? Uh, I'm probably, Dhanad Maharaj, I'm probably listening to pastimes from Krishna book. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Maharaj and Krishna Kesha Guru? <laughs> yes, we're going to distribute, go out and distribute okay. the Jai. Samosas and ladus. <laughs> <laughs> Jai. <laughs> Maharaj, is it true that there, at some point in the past, the devotee in California would print your Sri Mahanets and distribute them to people? Somebody told me that. They told you they did like that. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so it's nice if you prepare a little something to offer to Krishna. Some nice sweet balls or some prasadam to offer uh, to Krishna in celebration of Prabhupada's appearance day the next day. Generally, we uh, take um, Anukalpa on Janmasri. And then the next day we have the feast. So uh, we're offering to Krishna and we can offer that prasadam that we offer to Krishna for Janmasmi can also be an offering to Srila Prabhupada for his appearance day. Huh? And it becomes very nice. Nothing fancy. We can do some nice simple preparation for something, some sweet balls or something that Krishna would like. Really, very nice. A rice and meal. No, kill, no kill. Sweet, uh, sweet rice. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, something, something nice, sweet. Last week you were telling about simply wonderfuls. <laughs> Is everything, everyone, okay? Anything anyone would like to ask or to say? Everyone happy? <laughs> yeah, Mahara. <laughs> We're happy. We are happy. <laughs> happy. Right. Just remember Krishna. Always remember Krishna. And all Causes of lamentation will disappear. Uh, 
All right. Jaya Vishnu Bhad, Bhad Vahamsa, Bhadi Braja Gacharya, Satana Sata, Sri Sri Bhad, Bhakti Raka, Sri Dane, Goswami Maharaj, Jai, Jai, Sri Dane, Sri Dane, Sri Dane, Sri Dane, Sri Dane, Sri Hari Hari Dane, Shri I love you, but I love you, devotee. Ah, this one, my. Very nice. <laughs>